Good day to you. What do you need? How are we doing with the food? Who wants to know? One of their lordships? No, no. I just wondered if there was anything you're short of. Oh, I see. The lordling is wondering if we're in urgent need of anything. Well, well. To tell the truth, we don't have much meat. They bring it round often enough, but never as much as they should. Yes, I've heard something like that. <laughs> I'll say. Every other man's moaning on about it. The gamekeepers are doing all they can, but they can't keep up. So if you know how to help them out, bring it right here. I'll take care of the rest. Fine. I'll keep that in mind. Do we have any beer? Christ, I wish we did. Our ale's all gone and we've drained the local inn dry. <sighs> That's bad news. Don't I know it. You can't go and catch a beer in the woods either. But if you happen to know about some, let's hear it. News like that, it refreshed me almost as much as a drink. And the lads, too. I brought you some meat. Stack it over here. What's going on? You said you were bringing meat. Farewell. Yeah. Yeah. 
Good health to you. Andrew, there's no more beer in Talmberg, and the soldiers are starting to grumble. Can't you send some there? I could. There's nothing in it for me. Just as a matter of interest, who do you pay your taxes to? <laughs> You're saying I should be paying the Talmberg to old Sir Divish? <laughs> when Sir Havel of Valdeck was the master here, I managed to wriggle out of it. <laughs> Nobody's come collecting since. Well, right now, there are three noblemen camped by Talmberg, one of whom might be very interested to learn about all the tax you owe. I imagine he might want to collect it in the form of beer. Hmm. When you put it like that, I have got a few kegs I could send over. I won't lose out too much. They'd only spoil if I kept them longer, and I'd have to throw them away. Just remember, if you poison them, they'll hang you for it. Those soldiers are drinking up long before it has time to go off. And what's more, what with all that cabbage being eaten, it wouldn't occur to anyone the shit's came courtesy of the beer. I'll have them loaded up right away and taken there. And give their lordships my regards. Tell them I'm sending my best beer as a gift. Why the devil shouldn't I get some goodwill out of this at least? Let's have a word about the price. Um. Satisfied? Well, a little more, and we'll call it a deal. Finally!
My respects to you. I need to bring a few kegs of beer back to Talmberg. I don't have anything that would last the journey there. And I certainly don't want to swing for poisoning anyone. Can we do something about the price? Well, we can try it. What about this? Calm down. Just a little more and we have... See now. I am honored that I may the Lord watch over you. Let's talk about the price. Hmm. What do you say to them? You won't come. What the? Good health to you. Farewell.
I'd like to discuss... Hmm. Agree? Come now. Finally! I brought you some meat. Stack it over here. That's the lot. Great. If we're really going to have to storm the walls, then at least it should be with full bellies. Oh, and here's something for your trouble. God be with you.
I'd be with you. How are the men holding up? They're a rabble. The out-of-towners are desperate to go home. And the locals, they've got nowhere else to go. So they're just generally complaining. Are they causing trouble? No trouble as such. It's true, I've caught a few of them asleep on their watch. There's nothing a couple of lashes of the whip can't cure. Well, there might be a simpler solution. Whipping a man's simple enough. Just give one of them a beating, the others will remember. When they forget, do it again. But then you'd have an injured soldier. It occurred to me a herbal potion might do the trick. I never heard of any wives' quackery helping troop morale. But Christ knows they could do with something to flush the booze out of them and keep their eyes open. How goes it, Sir Bernard? How goes it? We're sitting here under the castle, and all day long there's folks hewing stones. My ears are ringing as if I'd been struck on the head, which is just how I feel. I've felt that way too since the night of the attack. That went horribly wrong. And even so, we were lucky. Could have gone much worse. What is your impression of Master Kieser? Sir Hanush thinks he's insane. As crazed as one of those dung-smeared fools reciting the New Testament backwards in the street. But what do you think? Sometimes I think a little craziness is no bad thing. Master Kieser's seen and lived through a lot in his time in foreign lands. And those rockets he was talking about. It all sounds like the babbling of a madman. Maybe. And I'd like to see them. Shooting off. Screaming through the sky like comets. I'm sure they'd be a sight to behold. 